So hi there, my name's Kate, and the guy that rides with me is the husband, Nigel. We ride Cube Stereo e-bikes, full suspension mountain bikes. And today's ride is going to be round and through Winlat Forest, taking in views over Bassenthwaite Lake. Uh, so at the moment, we've just parked up at the side of the A66 at a place called Wythop Beck. And we're heading along the side of the A66 on a Route 71 track, heading towards Winlatter Forest. Good surface, old tarmac. In fact, I think this was probably once the old A66. So this little bit of road just comes out onto a little side road heads towards the village of Thornthwaite. So we're just entering the village of Thornthwaite. We've come roughly 1.7 miles and just ahead on the right hand side we've got the bridleway. I'm going to turn right up the hill. Part of the coast to coast network as well. At this point, we're still on a good tarmac path. And then the route's going to swing round left, and then we're going to go off road onto a nice gravel path up the hill. I expect there to be a few hills on this ride today. What else do you expect? You're in the lakes and we're heading for Winlatter. Well, at the moment, it's a lovely morning. It's quite early. I don't think it's yet 10 o'clock. But the forecast says it's going to change. And I think I'll stop here before we lose the sight of the lake. And there we have it. Bassenthwaite. Looking at it through a fence, <laughs> all of it. Onwards. Really good track so far. We're only about two miles in. This is rather atmospheric. As you can tell, we're just early spring. A lot of the trees are still bare, but there's some nice new foliage on some of these trees and the hawthorn bush around here quite nicely out so it's not quite as drab and grey as it is over winter spring is in the air and you'll probably be able to hear in the background there's an awful lot of bird song going on they think spring's here too and onwards upwards again a steepish climb gears down nice steady cadence that's what these bikes like now the reason i put these rides together is because we're senior riders we don't want to do anything technical or do crazy heights we also don't want to ride on the roads i want to avoid falls so i plan these routes and i want to share them with you because they take you off road through some beautiful scenery and the main thing for you, for you watching this is that you can see what the, the surface of the terrain's like and check out before you ride it and decide whether it's something that you can ride. We now deviate from Route 71. It's going to the right and we're going to the left and we're onto a Winlatter Forest Trail. Uh, I can't pronounce it, the, the Q-U-E-R-C-U-S, Quercus. I have no idea. Again, good gravel forest track. With a bit of luck, we should be able to see Bassenthwaite, not Bassenthwaite, sorry, Derwent Water ahead. Mm, skewed by trees. But you've got Keswick down there in the bottom of the valley. 
So we've just turned right along here, following the single track through. Hello. Hello. We've ridden this before, Nigel. And then we're up onto the road here. Straight across the road. And continue on the other side. Back onto a tarmac path. So just after crossing the road, we've got a track off to the right, single track. And that's where we're heading. So we're going to be returning to the right, to the visitor centre, although I don't think we actually go into the visitor centre. Will we go on further? Yeah, this is good, good cycling. It feels quite nice to be doing a trail through Winlatter. This is very pleasant. Maybe spoke too soon, but so far so good. As you can see, we're novice cyclists or mountain bikers. We're just taking it nice and steady. We don't get any medals. We're going fast. We've now got full suspension mountain bikes. Having had hard tails for a couple of years, we changed to these partly because they give us a little bit more confidence when we're going over rockier surfaces. And obviously, quite a bit more comfort. And as we've seen you riders, that's pretty important. Going to the right. Back onto the forest track. Good gravel surface. Heading gently uphill. So just a few yards along the forest track, we've got a turning on the right. Back onto single track. We're going straight across. The Goss Trail ahead. And a few hundred yards, we're going to turn right. So basically, we are running parallel to Winner to Pass, just on this forest track, trying to keep the actual amount of road time on the pass down to a minimum. So the road is somewhere down there on my right hand side. And we're a fork in the forest route, and we're going to go down to the right. Well, it says Route 71. So here we go, just coming down onto the road at the pass. And we're going to swing onto the road and go to the left. At Hobbs Carton, Hobbs Carton car park. Not a soul around though, which is good. Right up the road here for a short distance. So coming out of the forest, we've just done about 7.3 miles. So we've probably come about half a mile along the road and we've got a turning on the left and that's where we're going. It says a gated road, 
that always means it's going to be fairly quiet. There's no car driver really likes to get in and out of their cars to open gates. Staying on the minor road, no deviations at this point, heading for High Lawton. And way ahead, you can see the west coast. Perhaps not as clear as we'd like, but uh, still fabulous. Well, I know it said it's going to be a, a gated road, but we haven't come across any gates. So that's a bonus. Now dropping down into High Lawton. So we get to the junction and we turn to the left. and carry on through the village. Heading now straight across here for Low Lawton. Low Lawton, not far from Low's Water, but we're not heading to Low's Water today. We just stopped for a pit stop at that junction, bought a little sandwich in the shop in the village of High Lawton. Quite tasty to a junction here and we're going to turn to the right and then almost immediately to the left. And then veering off to the left onto the lovely track that takes you up and across the fell. It's uh, tarmac and gravel at the moment, but it soon turns into a, a rougher track. Lovely off-road route. You hear him puffing? It's a good surface though, a bit rutty in places but quite rideable. Some great views, and then further on you get views across to the, the west coast. Anyhow. Oops. <laughs> now I'll just go through the wall. <laughs> So it's a, an up and a down on this trail. Just on well, this part of the trail anyhow. A nice steady climb for about a mile and then a, a nice drop for about a mile. Very nice. Uh -oh. Now then little lambs, where have you come from? So, get to the end of the road here, and we're going to turn right onto a country tarmac road. This route is signposted public way for Low Lawton. It actually says it's two and a half miles long. We've done approximately 14 miles. So this quiet lane is signed for Cockermouth. But we're not going as far as that. Junction here for Ramden Gill, we're going to turn to the right. It's suitable for wide vehicles. Well, I think that excludes us. You do get some lovely views around here. And there's such nice, quiet country lanes. Unfortunately, we have a few miles to cover on these country lanes before we hit another off-road route. But that's the way it is. You just have to make the best of it. And as long as we're not on main roads, jobs are good. So at 15.2 miles, we take a right-hand turn. Oh, I love these roads. Grass in the middle. More like a bridleway. Spectacular views. Absolutely beautiful. You certainly couldn't get much of a quieter road than this. 
So we're at a junction and we're going to turn to the left. And then we have a junction coming up and we're going to take a right hand turn. So we're just coming along there, signpost on the right for Stanger, a dead end lean onto a bridleway. Just thought we'd go and check it out. Not sure it'd be rideable, but we'll have a little look down. We're going to go round to the left, which says cycleway, horses, ponies. And I know onto a bridleway, public bridleway. Right, we'll just walk across the back of this house. I'm posted for Danga Spa to the left night. Yes. Oh, we're onto a, a fairly decent farm track heading down towards the spa. And as always, the gate. Just following what is at this stage a well defined track towards the spa. So we took a right along the fence looking for the bridleway sign and then through this gateway here following. A well defined path. Go through this gateway and we're going to swing to the left. So we're just following a track along. Nice grassy track. Now then, maybe use the stepping stones. Mm -hmm. oh, a lovely bridleway sign. So we're just going to go along the side of the field as requested keep them to the sides try not to disturb the sheep turn to the right following these metal railings and we have another bridleway sign just here and through we're heading for the road that we can see over there just follow these tracks Nigel there's nothing in the field and the field's dry, so all is good. Yeah, public bridal way. And then we're going to head off towards those gates in the distance where I can see a, a sign. So we're just going down the field, nice grassy, dry field. It's quite surprising considering the amount of rain that we've had. And we're to a gateway, and it's got the bridleway sign, Sanga, where we've just come from, the spa, one mile. So out of that gateway, we turn left onto a slightly busier road, 
but just for a short distance. A few yards along the road, there's a right-hand turn up a mire lane, and that's where we're heading. So up to the junction up here, and we turn to the right. And we're looking for the route over Ling Fell. And there's two. There's a, a bridleway and an old coach road. OK, so it's roughly 22 and a half miles. And we have the track that goes up and across the fell. Gears down. Oh, crack, crack, crack as I get the gears down very quickly. So, I'm not sure yet whether this is the old coach road or the public driveway, but we're going up on a rough track. Rideable. So far anyhow. Panoramic. Yeah. Right round. So there's the A66 in the bottom there. Right, now off a rough stone track onto a nice grassy track. At this point, quite obviously well used. And it gets even better. Uh, just looking at my route finder there. I think we must have missed the coach road turning on the right somewhere back there a few yards and we're on to the green lawning. Still a bride away so that's fine. So that lawning comes out on the on line of the road and we turn to the right. I'm going to the right Nigel along here. Yeah. So, I'm going round and downhill, heading for a track across Sill Fell. And at this little point, we turn to the right. changing as the rain clouds coming in. We're at the base of Sail Fell, up on the left. And as we can look there, before the farm with the closed gates, there's a right-hand turn, which says public bridleway to White Top Beck. Oh, thank you, dear. Going for a nice grassy track. Onto a bit of single track. Along, we're going to take a right hand through a gate 
and across the more fields. It's not much of a track, but you can see there's been a lot of people along here. Through the gate, back onto Route 71, heading down towards the lake and wiped off the bank. Gorgeous, isn't it? But I hate to say it's going to rain. I can feel the odd spit. to a, a gravel track. Not too bad. This is going to bring us out at Wythop Beck. Oh, I can see the lake to the left. What an incredible route this has been today. I did think we'd see Derwent water as we went through Winlatter Forest, but uh, other than the tail end of it, which I don't think we'll show in the video, I didn't see it. Down we go. Back to the car. Load up and get away before it starts raining. And that's us back, just around the corner where we parked the car. And there you can see the A66 ahead. I really recommend that ride. It's certainly quite taxing. There's a lot of uphill and down dale, but uh, nothing too technical. There's some amazing views and some lovely country longings. And this is where I say, Ta-ra for now. Hope you enjoyed the video and get a chance to ride it.